In this video, you will get to know how to use Command X to cut and paste files at a different location, same like Windows PC. For the text, it's alright if you just press Command X, open a new document, and here is document 2, document 1. Now you can simply paste here with the command V. But what if you want to cut paste these files in folders, there is no direct way on macOS to cut and paste, but you can simply copy paste or simply press three buttons at the time of paste. Let's say we are using the traditional method. Instead of cut paste, I will just press command C and at the time of pasting, I will press option command V. That means we cut and paste, but it might be complicated procedure for you. So there is an easy fix that will directly work with the command X and command V. If you recently moved to macOS from Windows PC, then you might be facing problems. And now I select all of them and in front of you, I'm pressing command X and command V. You saw that the files are no longer available here because I cut and paste, but used command X to cut and command V to paste. I create a new folder and rename it as to command X and command V. The folder is there. So how you can do that? There is an app on App Store. It's completely free. The name is command X. Just go and write command X and you will see this app. Just install and it's open source. After installation and giving all the permissions, you can open command X app. And here we go. If you want, you can turn on this toggle, launch at login, because I always keep this one and press Command X. And if you want to hide, you will hide and this menu bar will not show up. If you want to keep this one in the menu bar, then just keep there. And you can always go to setting from menu bar. Let's say it's closed and go to setting and you will be landed to here as well. If you want to play a sound, you can play a sound whenever I press Command X. So if you press Command X after turning on the sound, you will see a little bit beep. You know that you press the button. In my menu bar, you will see a lot of different apps. This one is a clipboard. You can copy multiple things in, including pictures and so many other things and then paste them. If you want to learn about this app, then write in the comments. And there is another good app, Hazover. If I turn on, you will see that only the front part is more visible and if I close you see that the desktop is dim. You can install this Haze Over and if you want this tutorial then I can cover another new tutorial about this app as well. Only the front app will stay highlighted and the rest of the apps will be dim and I can increase and decrease the intensity. You see the background is dim and the foreground is highlighted so that I can keep focused. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.